Hello everyone, welcome to a new campaign for Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. My name is Surreal Beliefs, and if you would like to watch more for tomorrow, do not forget to leave a like down below. It would be fantastic if we could hit 1,000 likes, and a big shout out to all of my patrons who have been supporting the channel. We're going to play as the Imperium, I did a faction poll vote, and the Imperium won. We're going to talk a little bit about lore right now, before we go in. The Eye of Terror is a massive warp rift, where the warp coexists with real space. The warp is a psychic dimension where you'll find chaos, demons, and all of that business. In the Imperium of Man, you have several types of world classes, and they all have their own roles to play. A fortress world is a planet that is entirely dedicated to warfare and the production of arms. And the most famous one is Cadia, which is located outside the Eye of Terror. Because of that location, it has often been the target of many invasions by chaos called Black Crusades. It once boasted 850 million people who had 71% of those under arms and training. But you had the final Black Crusade, number 13, led by Abaddon the Despoiler, and it was finally destroyed. Only 3 million survivors came from that conflict. And to let you know, a battle fleet is a term used for ships responsible for defending a sector of the Imperium. It's led by a Lord Admiral and often has 50 or more ships of varying sizes inside. Each fleet is broken down into temporary battle groups and many of them are not permanent but are created for particular roles. So now that you know a little bit more about 40k in each part, if many of you would like, I can talk about lore. That way, if you don't know too much about Warhammer 40k, you'll learn more over time. Here we go. For the Emperor, the far-flung Imperium of Man knows only a war for survival. Assailed by traitors, treacherous Xenos, and the uncaring galactic waste, humanity battles on as the Emperor's light grows ever darker. The Cadian Gate stands besieged by abominations from within the Eye of Terror, the Cadian Gate being like this calm area of space outside of that eye. It falls to Admiral Spire, hero of the Gothic War, to marshal the Imperium's scattered fleets and hold the line against the horrors of chaos. And now we may begin. Enjoy the cinematic. The Imperium of Man. A million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy. A million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself, for there is no peace amongst the stars. The Space Marines, genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter-assault, taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke-wreathed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God, and their crews dedicated to the Omnisire's holy cause. The Scholar Progenium molds callow flesh into leaders, officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the Dark Gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic Sector, vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium, while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness, or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man and his time is coming once more. From the warp to real space again. We're out. Praise the 
the Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress signals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral, the year. It's 999M41. We've been lost in the warp for over 800 years. And Cadia, the hymnals report that it's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral, Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle, but revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Geller Field holding. This is Admiral Spire to all Imperial vessels. Rally at coordinates 154, 554. This isn't over. Yeah, the Gothic War is also called the Twelfth Black Crusade. So he fought in the last war and was able to fend off Abaddon. Or Abad, and I've heard a few different pronunciations of it. Hopefully I can do a relatively good job in the campaign. I don't really know if that's going to be true or not. If you have any tips or advice for me, do let me know. Not since the Eye of Terror have I found anything like it. Wait. This is not the Cadian system. Navigator, report. The Immaterium writhes, Lord Admiral. It has flung us far off course. I can see that, Domitian. Where are we? Star sights indicate we've entered real space in the Cadian sector. Confirmed. Not too far, but not close enough. Still, we have been fortunate. Have our astropath send out a hymnal. All surviving vessels in the sector to rally at our position. Cadia needs our aid. Warship signatures inbound, Lord Admiral. Chaos vessels. Indeed. Then our retribution begins. We hold this position. Burn retros right now. We're getting ready for a pretty big fight. Another so-called warrior come to charge his blade. I am Lord Admiral Spire. I will be your death. Not this day, lapdog. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. Oh yeah. You know what we'll do? Torpedoes. We shall see. Ready main batteries. Setting Hold course. on. I'm coming. I'm coming. There we go. Now we can turn again. Let's get ready to hit him once more. Let's kill him. Ah, uh, he moved out the way. That's okay. He's a much smaller ship. We're going to be able to take him out. Don't worry about it. I'm going to now use lock on. Let's lock on to him and beat the hell out of him. I think that's a pretty good idea. There we go. Keep on moving. What am I going to hit on him? Priority one. Ah, we don't need to worry about focusing fire, I don't think. I think we're going to be okay. Let's take him out. You can see that in a barrage, in an exchange of our salvos, we're going to be able to easily win it. There's no way that we're going to lose it. Let's keep on moving. I could certainly move further. I could move faster, too, if I wanted to. Let's see. All full ahead. Did I get that right? All ahead full. There we go. Now I got it right. Okay. Back to our standard speed. We're just going to keep behind him. As you can see, we're winning. I had a feeling torpedoes would be a tough one just because of its speed, but that's okay. We're taking it out right now. But as I said to you, if you have any questions about lore at all, I don't mind telling you. If I showed you my collection of 40k books, it's pretty bad. I have a lot. <laughs> Rogue Trader, Black Crusade, Only War, Death Watch, Dark Heresy, all of it, man. Here we go. Dear God, yes. Their firepower will be a great asset. Well met, Fabricator. How many ships do you bring me? All that could be found, Lord Admiral. I regret that we bring enemies on our heels. Duty breeds enemies, Fabricator. Join your fire to ours. We'll see them ended. Okay, they're coming in right now? They're coming in right now. All right, let's go ahead and bring in our flagship. We're gonna come this way. We're gonna turn quickly. We're gonna use a high energy turn. I need to probably look at the hotkeys later so I know what they are. Okay. So we're going to have you just kind of turn real quick. You're going to turn too. We're going to have you do a high energy turn as well. Let's get ready. Let's now go ahead of them. Okay, so I want you to actually do something else here. I'm going to have you, let's see, brace for impact. I don't want you to take too much damage if we can help it. Let's get you out of here. I'm going to get you out of here in just a minute. So give me a little bit. 
All right, we're still getting you to head on your way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, burn retros. You're going to keep on moving. Let's get you out of here real quick. We're kind of right behind them. They're kind of directed after one target, so we're going to keep on that for now. Lock on as well. We're going to keep on attacking. Let's go ahead and do a high energy turn. Critical hit, 12 damage. Let's now move out the way. Into a standard speed. We're going to move forward now. We're going to keep on hitting our enemies. Hold on. I don't want you to do anything other than just what you're doing now. There we go. All right, torpedoes are moving. We can see now that because they're stationary, we just hit them. There's a fire aboard. Let's wait here for a minute. We're going to take some damage. That's okay, though. I'm going to want you to probably repair things later, so let's go ahead and get up here. Or maybe we can do another nice attack. We're nearly at them. Let's go ahead and do a all ahead full in just a minute. I keep on taking the damage here. That's okay. Get the hell out of here. You can see what they're doing. That's okay. Let's go ahead and hit them again. Hold on, hold on. Turning. And we're good. Let's go. Okay. You can stop with your all ahead full. Our larger ship is still here. Hold on, hold on. Let's actually turn because what we can do here, we can use our torpedoes much like that. If they're too close, then it won't be able to hit, which is fine. Okay. We're staying stationary. They're going after one tiny ship right now. It looks like they're not very intelligent. I mean, they are chaos, so understandable. Let's now go ahead. You're still locking on. That's good. That'll be target number one. That's target number two. Let's focus on them right now. It's a simple exchange. Protector of Nefara. You're doing a good job. All right, let's go ahead and burn retros right now. Very good. Lock on target no matter what. They have a mutiny that's happening. I'm not going to board them. We're just going to destroy them right now. Get you over here real quick. Let's see here. Scanner. I don't need you to use a scanner. I'm not too worried about them. So there's so much for me to learn right now. But so far, I think we're doing just fine. Okay, now that we've taken care of you, let's go ahead and do an all head full. We're going to circle him and hit him on two sides. Now we're going to burn retros right behind him. And you know where we get, we get to hit. It's right here. All while you get to wait and move away. I know that there's a fire aboard. That's okay. Go ahead and use your canticle of the Omnissiah. You can handle those types of injuries pretty well. Now we can focus fire on one enemy. If I do a high energy turn right over here, I've got torpedoes to use. Not quite the most perfect torpedo usage, but uh, critical hit. Very nice. We're trying to block those attacks real quick. Very nice. Reload. And over here, reload. So... Let's focus on it. No, 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 no. Turn over here. You're not moving. Burn retros right now. And now we get to exchange fire. And that other ship is now gone. The Fallen Gratification. The Raider Idolator is gone. That's the last of them, my lord. Negative. They were but the tip of the spear. I calculate that the others will soon arrive. It matters not. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison, this is nothing. A pity that war cost us our greatest heroes. But I wouldn't give to have Captain Abradol at my side. Same though. All decks report ready. Good. We shall forge new heroes this day. Let us hope they suffice. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. Ah, we have more enemies to go after. Very well. Let's get ready. In strength, Lord Admiral. All ships. The Emperor protects. Engage That's what I hope anyway. Okay, so running silent for you. Ships, hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. Oh, you're damn right about that. Doubt while strength abides. Oh, what? Pardon me? Is that what I think it is? The sons of Dorn heed your call. The sons of Dorn? Hell yeah, I love the sons of Dorn. Good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, Captain. Faith is not enough. Get rammed, idiot. The war never ends, Lord Admiral. We shall fight it together. Okay, he's got a cool voice. I like him. I'm really excited about the Sons of Doran. I'll just talk about them at a later point, but I love me some Sons of Doran. I've got to tell you right now. <laughs> okay. Now they're marked. Now we know where they're at. Let's go ahead and do it all ahead full. One troop lost. So that's okay. Okay. Standard turn. We're going to get you to move now. All ahead full. High energy turn. Standard speed again. Okay, let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. Number four, I'll teach you over here too. Let's go take out some enemies. All right, so for you, what are we going to go after? Let's go after your engine first. Actually, let's go after your guns. We're going to focus on your guns real quick. 
Everyone come over here. I'm gonna get you out of here real quick, buddy. Let's go. Worst case, I'm gonna just get you to leave. But for now, that should be good. All right, go ahead and do a high energy turn again. We've got a pretty good attack that we can engage in. Let's go ahead and try to land inside to do some more damage. I like that idea a lot. So we're gonna do that right now. Another high energy turn. Oh, you know what we need to do. All right, one of you will go ahead and do an all ahead full. You're getting out of here real quick. Let's go. Okay, honor the chapter. We don't need to worry about that too much. Let's go ahead and move a little bit further. Is one of them trying to be stealthy or what? Is he trying to warp out? I don't know. We'll see in a second. Very nice. Oh, no, no. He's right there. Gotcha. I understand. I understand. <laughs> you sound so robotic. As you well should. You are a tech priest, but it's a comical way to kind of listen to him. Okay. Uh-oh. Let's watch out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They had me on two sides. That's okay. Let's go ahead and do another high energy turn. All ahead full. I'm not going to worry about torpedoes right now. Okay, here's our other ship. Light Cruiser Vanguard Mark III. Very nice. Okay. Standard speeds. Is he going to try to do all ahead full? We're going to find out in just a minute. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Torpedoes are now going. Let's see what we can do to him. The goal was to hit him with a few, at least one of them. Okay, very nice. Brace for impact. Just stay here for now. Impossible, Admiral. Impossible right now? Very well. Okay, well, we can't do that right now. That's okay. Underway. Okay, so what are we going to do then? Let's see. The shields are not down yet. My shields are down, unfortunately. Let's see. Their shields are nearly down. Let's go ahead and change it up real quick and get over here. We're going to use a... Another squadron to try to hit them. We're going to try to get up there. Let's go ahead and use the all ahead full again. Okay, that puts me at a pretty good location to uh, get closer to them. Let's go. Reaching nominal speed. There we go. A mutiny. We're going to rally up just for the hell of it. And now all my ships are just going to come engage real quick. Go ahead and turn. It's just a dance. It's just a freaking majestic dance right now. Yeah, we don't get to keep their dirty ships. It's not a very great ship to take, so we're trying to avoid it. Oh no, we, we did it. We did it just fine. I think it's okay. Lock on. Let's go ahead and lock on. Disengaging. Don't let them disengage. Come on. We got him, right? So close. Wait, wait. Nope, he's finally gone. Good. We didn't let them leave. We won the battle. The battle's over. Destroyed, Lord Admiral. No further signatures. And allied ships? Nothing more. Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drang as how best to employ it. We will have vengeance for Cadia. Yeah, I would hope so. Incredible how he was just kind of like, yeah, you know what? That happened, but let's move on. We've got things to do. we got to go handle other enemies. And the challenge before us is we bleak, but we shall prevail if the Emperor wills it. The despoiler will be driven back, but we need support. We must secure planetary systems within the battle zone. These will provide us the necessary means to strengthen our fleets. Okay. Admiral Spire's forces are currently located in the Cadian Sector, a sector is constituted of several systems whose conquest allows you to progress through the campaign. Threat level. The threat value represents the will of an enemy faction to conquer a sector. The higher it is, the more that faction will be active there. Okay. Understood. Threat level. Mm-hmm. Chaos threat level is over here. We have one out of 12 systems under control right now. Urgency gauge. The urgency gauge symbolizes the urgency of the situation facing enemy factions. Or your situation facing enemy factions. It fills up each turn jobs when you fulfill objectives. Okay, command capacities over here for my three times of ships. We got battle plans. We got global income here. I'm at minus 37. My upkeep is 47. So I'm kind of low on that front. Okay. We get different benefits from each one. That's pretty cool. You can hear the music. Reminds me of like Final Fantasy X in the temples. Urgency states. The urgency gauge is divided into five segments. When a segment is filled, the threat value of all enemy factions is raised by one. 
Understood, understood. Okay. The campaign ends in failure, if I'm not too careful. All right, let's go look over here. Points of interest. There can be one or several points of interest in each system. Each one is linked to attributes that have different effects depending on the faction controlling the system. Okay, that's what we're looking at now. Belisar. Okay, after several turns under your control, points of interest may be evolved by spending resources. Very cool. Effects provided by the points of interest may vary depending on the evolution level of the system. Again, very cool. Okay, so we want to read lore. Lore is important to me. Belisar stones well with the death agonies of a slaughtered population, put the sword at the direction of the traitor Lucius the Eternal. The psychic echoes still linger in the warp, making travel to and from cursed Belisar a risky endeavor for any navigator not fully in command of his faculties. Yet the Imperium cannot afford to leave Belisar unpopulated and has begun shipping in new colonists. Kim suppressants have been issued in an attempt to reduce suicide numbers. Dear God, it's an unsustainable world. Doubles the delay of evolution of all points of interest in the system. It's a hive world as well, though. All right, that's what we have here. That's Belisar. I can't really do too much with it yet. We've got Contrial. Oh my god, look at all of the stuff that's happening around. This is a really interesting map. Demios Binary has much to offer our future operations. But it is occupied by Chaos forces. We shall sweep them aside and restore the Emperor's rule to this stolen world. Okay, system annexation. Defeat enemy forces stationed in a system to take control of it. Neutral systems are seized as soon as one of your fleets moves in it. Fleet power to fleet power, which is the little hand symbol, represents the might of a fleet. Okay, it's over here, 165. Fleet health, fleet value, escort ship limit. The maximal number of escort ships depends on the line ship or line ships in the fleet. Repair rate per turn, 10%. And over here, troop regeneration per turn. You can see my own abilities. Power Ram. Ooh, very nice. And here's a ship over here. The Righteous Protector. Fleet's Movement. Fleets have a pool of movement points that replenishes at the start of each turn. They can travel through safe routes between systems and sectors at a cost of one movement point per system crossed. Very well. They should really show me exactly where these numbers are at. I'll figure it out, but anyway. So you know where we need to go. Demius Binary. Just right over here. in the days to come. I need not take one here. Deploying a second fleet to Demios Binary will ease our victory. Okay. Well, I'm going to take Cambrius, who's got two ships in his fleet. I really wouldn't call it a fleet, but... We outnumber the foe. Victory is all but certain. But caution must serve as well as haste. Recklessness is a terrible master. Okay. System limitations. A maximum of three of your fleets can be stationed in a system. However, fleets can always move through a system. Understood. Defense level. The higher the defense level of a system under enemy control, the more defensive structures you will have to face in battle. Interesting. Okay. So we need to watch out for that. Defense platform. Space station. Okay. Minefields are over here. Forge World, uh, that'll be a very handy location. There's quite a few fleets over here in Cadia, dear God, so we'll have to be careful with that. I wonder where we'll go afterwards. If we're in an isolated location, I'll, why can't I just bring you? Well, they want to teach me a lesson, understood. Let's go, launch battle time. Okay, battle preparation. The engagement board allows you to make the final preparations for the battle. Leadership, your leadership value represents the maximal uh, accumulated fleet value that can be de deployed at the start of the battle. Okay. That's over here. We've got reinforcements. Ships that couldn't be deployed due to leadership limitation will replace lost ships during the battle. Very cool. Deployment order. The top fleet will be deployed first. Dragon drop your fleets to change their order and all that business. So that's my main ba uh, battle fleet. Second battle fleet's over here. We're at 306. They're only at 169. I feel like they're going to have some type of trick, but we'll see. Faction leader. Protect your faction leader. If I lose them, we lose. Let's go. It's time for a new battle. Dear God! 10,000 years have passed since the galaxy burned in the fires of the Horus Heresy. 10 millennia since the greatest of the Emperor's Primarchs fell into the grasp of eternal damnation and tore the galaxy asunder. Horus Lupercal may be dead, 
His body ashes, and his memory the stuff of a cursed legend. But the wounds he wrought yet gape in the hide of an embattled Imperium. For the battle against chaos knows no end. Many of Horus' servants survived the civil wars, and they have not forgotten their defeat. When the War Master fell, they retreated to the Eye of Terror and waged battle anew. Greatest of these was Abaddon the Despoiler, Horus' greatest living heir. Abaddon took the title of War Master for his own and embarked upon a long and bloody campaign to succeed where his fallen master had failed. Twelve Black Crusades he launched against the Imperium of Man. Twelve world-shattering campaigns to forever alter the balance of power. Now, as the Millennium draws to a close, a vast armada of traitors slips its moorings as Abaddon launches his thirteenth and perhaps final strike. As the tide of chaos breaks against the Cadian Gate, the Imperium holds its breath. Faith alone cannot hold back these bleak waters. Only valor will serve. Yeah, during that 12th Black Crusade, the conflict consisted of hundreds of planetary invasions and naval battles and only ended when Abaddon was forced to retreat to the Immaterium with the arrival of Imperial reinforcements. You had several planets destroyed and four of his six known Blackstone fortresses, as well as the deaths of billions of people. It's a really awful war. It was a 21-year war. Okay, we're just about ready. Let's go look at what we have on the map. I can press all to kind of see, like, information here. Asteroid fields, gas clouds. I remember the first game, so I'm not, like, too unused to what's happening here. Got over here, space structures, understood. What are these meant to be? Pardon? Strategic position, interesting. And over here, space structures again. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's go look over here, Spire and Cambrius. All right, Spire and Cambrius. My little scouting ship will be over here. You two will be in your own group. Control one, we're now ready. Let's go move. Shall prevail in the Emperor's name. Your orders? Okay, group two, come over here. So I've got Annihilation Victory. Once no enemy ship remains, we win, clearly. Strategic victory at the beginning of each battle. Victory points are scored. Let's see here. We reach that score, we win. Destruction points when a ship is destroyed, the opposing camp gains as many victory points as its value. When a ship leaves a battlefield, okay. Half its value. Understood. Three ways to win. There's only one enemy ship for now. I'm gonna go take some strategic Though points. Our duty is to annihilate enemies of the Imperium. It may sometimes be in our interest to obtain victory without engaging enemy vessels. I got it. I got it. Okay. Strategic positions <laughs> might well force the enemy's withdrawal. Heading I mean, I personally rather just kill them all, but I get it. I get it. I need to be wise at times. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> All right, let's have a, oh, oh, pardon, pardon me, pardon me. Can I help you? What's over here, a little fleet? Is that what you're sending at me, or are these torpedoes? It's a little fleet. Interesting, very cute. Plasma bomb, I wonder if I could use that on that, that would be interesting. I would love to just send that out to go destroy them. Anyway, let's go look over here real quick. Do you have anything fun? You've got a auger probe and a stasis bomb. One turret lost. Oof. Engaging that was some damage. All right, let's go. All right, he's capturing that area. He's way over here, it looks like. Capturing that one point. I could probably send out some torpedoes. Sometimes I do that for fun. Melted torpedoes, okay. Let's go. Let's go kind of aim over here, maybe. Watch out for that location but the strategic area. there goes my auger probe we'll see how close Course it's going to be able engaged. to get plasma bomb teleport to bomb oh interesting explodes after 10 seconds so i could time that very well and probably do something nice all right so we need another strategic area to capture Course engaged. i hold on shift and he can kind of just move on gotcha 
Coordinates acknowledged. All right, we're going to fast forward a little bit just as we get over here. Man, his points are gained quickly. I didn't realize how quickly those points were gained. Dear God. I'll let you move over here real quick. We'll have more in a minute. He was closer to one than I was. That's why he was able to get over there. Oh, never mind. He's over here now. Guess where we're going. <laughs> that should be a good one. I didn't realize you would be over there so quickly. All right. Micro warp jump. Interesting. All right, so there's a bunch of really good abilities over here that I'm seeing. Eat that bomb and enjoy it, fool. Let's go over here. We're going now. Try to get at me now, huh? All right, we got him. Okay, so here's what we're going to do real quick. We go into slow motion. I wonder if I could just kind of fire through that. I don't really know if I can or cannot. I know you're moving in. We're going to bring you out over here. We're going to have our ship now move. Let's see. How are we going to have you handle this? I'm going to move you over here, I think. So let's do a high energy turn. Let's go into standard speeds. I'm going to have you burn retros real quick. Burn retros and wait. Or the other idea is I have you approach from the other direction. Alright, let's go. Okay, so battles are meant to be fairly quick because of that. I understand. We'll lock on. I'm going to reload now. Okay, so we're, let's let's just begin now. Let's just begin the fight, the big fight. It might be one ship, but these ships are always a big threat, so we need to watch out. I can do a lightning strike now. There we go. Let's uh, do another lightning strike then. We gotta be careful from time to time, but I think we have it largely, right? All right, plasma bomb right over here. We're gonna have you do a high energy turn. Okay, let's move now. I want you to capture that quickly. And there we go, that plasma bomb hit him directly. He's taking some serious damage. Let's go after the engine now. We've gotten the deck. The deck is in big, big trouble. Go attack now. He's taking minimal damage, thankfully. We didn't take too much damage yet, but uh, let's go ahead and turn. So I want to use some plasma. Machine spirit appeased. Okay, he's moving now. Oh, I do not like what's coming after me. Let's go ahead and do some emergency repairs now. We've already destroyed a lot of what he has, so that didn't really take too long. Let's go ahead and stop him. If he wants to fight me, let him come after me. He's going to be in trouble in just a minute. He's going to be stuck, or I'll be able to set things up. Go ahead and do what you want. I'm going to rally for fun, just for the hell of it. Okay, he's now stuck there for a second. I See, like I could like have my torpedoes line up, get straight to where he's at, then probably hit him. That's a good idea, actually. Let's do that right now. I'm going to get right behind him, too. So that way, whenever the probe is up, or the stasis bomb is up, or they could even hit him now. Look at that. They're getting really close. And he is hit again. Engine destroyed. Oh, interesting, huh? Engine destroyed. Let's go. Screw your freaking points. I'm going to come after you now. Race for impact. Let's go. Let's just try to make sure that we got him under control. Let's kind of come over here real quick. I want you to use it all ahead full. I want you to use it all ahead full. Let's get him now. Okay. Burn retros. Burn retros. We are now done. Oof. Lost too many, I think, on that one. But we now have him, and we've destroyed him. The battle's now over. We've won the battle. Oh. I forgot how intense these fights can be. Especially when, like, I'm not used to the controls just yet. I was actually pretty good at the multiplayer in the previous game. The only issue is that they didn't really know how to balance it very well. Games like this can be hard to balance, especially when you're introducing new factions. But from what I understand, they had, like, all the factions here right away. One thirty four for renowned earned. It wasn't a very long fight. Others will follow should we remain true to our duty. Battles leave scars. I must be mindful of my vessel's condition. The reclamation of Demius Binary has taken our enemy by surprise. The Claustrum system is exposed. We shall push our advantage. If the fleet is to grow, we must have access to production facilities. If Clawston falls to our forces, we shall have them. Okay. So what do I want me to do over here? I've got a lot. Leader experience. When a leader reaches experience level 4, his fleet's movement point is in full is increased by 1. When a fleet is involved in a battle or seizes a neutral system, all remaining movement points are consumed. Understood. 
damage and casualties. Destroyed ships are lost for good. Damaged ones are repaired and have some of their lost troops replaced at the beginning of each turn if they are located within a system controlled by their faction. I'm only trying to read through quickly so that we can actually get to actual gameplay. Repair and troop replacement. At the beginning of each turn, each of your ships located within a system under your control benefits from the following effects. 10% of your hold points are back. 3% of critically damaged systems are fully repaired. Three lost troops are replaced. Fast repair. Easy mode only. I don't have that, unfortunately. Resources and construction points. Resources and construction points are the most valuable as they are necessary to construct new ships. Okay. Well, I've got global income. I got battle plans over here. My active fleets over here. <laughs> All right. Pardon? Do you just want him to go? I guess you just want him to go. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Shipyards provide construction points that are necessary to build ships. Construction points apply. When a system is conquered, the shipyards do not provide construction points immediately. They need to replenish turn after turn. Construction points. Let's see. Regeneration. Shipyards get construction points each turn until they reach their max value. All right. So here's uh, Clawston. Let's take control. I know I have it. I can end my turn now, but I have control of this entire location. That's very nice to know. I now have three out of 12. So we have Dimius Binary. We have Clawston down here. Mining World. Increases resource generation by 3% in connected systems and sectors. Minor Shipyard generates one construction points per turn to a max of one. Increase outline. Da, da. Okay. Bunch of numbers, a bunch of information. We do have a few neutral areas. I would like to get that one. 413 for a fleet value, though. Dear God, I don't have that. I do not have that. Okay, let's enter turn now. Sabina. Cadia. Dear God, it worries me. Okay, we're on turn two. I wonder if they're going to keep on guiding me for a little while. To see what the Adeptus Mechanicus have to offer our crusade. Okay. New ship. That's Demi's where I go. Open it. Shipyard is incapable of full production just yet. We'll use Clawston for now, and wait until Demios is capable of crafting larger vessels. Okay. We'll go to Clawston then. Shipyards are small, but can provide us with recon ships. These will be valuable assets for our operations. Big guns are nothing if not deployed with grand purpose. Okay. Shipyard network. Systems under your control linked by a safe route. Former network shipyards are accessible from any system within the network they belong to. Very good to know. Look at that real quick. All is prepared. It is time to welcome a new vessel to the Emperor's service. That was quick. It's a very tiny ship. Okay. Resource uh, requirement. In addition to the construction points, building ships require resources. Understood. Escort ships. The number of escort ships with any fleet is limited and depends on the number of line ships and their tonnage. Ship construction. Once the construction is validated, ships are immediately added to their fleet. It can be used in the same turn. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I'll lock that. Confirm. The conquest of the Cadian sector can now proceed. However, we cannot leave our holdings without defenses. We should at least deploy an orbital minefield. Alright, so we come over here now. Deploy minefields. Defensive devices. You may spend resources in each system to place defensive devices like minefields, defense platforms, and space stations. We have only just begun. War is replete with opportunity. As ground is seized, new objectives will arise. Let us proceed. We are the Emperor's fist. And we are here to fist. Let his foes tremble at our coming. Okay, unlike minefields and defense platforms that may be deployed in any system, space stations can only be built within systems with a strategic position, point of interest. Understood. Okay. Boink. I'm going to build it anyway for fun. Just for funsies. What about over here? Can I? Nope, cannot. All right, gotcha. It's in a turn now, as they want me to. Reinforcements, you say? Created a defense platform. Dear God. Turn three now. Get rid of these systems quick. we have reclaimed are developing well. Okay. Select the Demios binary system. Prosperous systems can only be a good thing for our cause. We will protect them. Okay, click on evolution level two to upgrade to point of interest. 
Receiving communication from the Vox Relay. It is Lord High Admiral Drang. So the old man's still alive. I told you he was too tough to kill. Admiral Spire, I trust you stand ready for orders. Always. Good. Strategically and symbolically, the Cadian Sector is vital to our efforts. You will reclaim it, Admiral. The Emperor protects. Understood. The Emperor protects. Counter offensive. Uh, direct orders from Lord High Admiral Drong. Admiral Spire must regain control over systems within the Cadian Sector that are currently held by Chaos Forces, so I need. Let's see, Kitty System, Vorka Torque, Framas, and Contreal. Okay, Vorka, Framas, Contreal. Not Sabina. We've got Hilotas over here, Framas is over here, Contreal. Vorka Torque, okay, so... To get over here though, that's an interesting prospect. I could head down to this neutral area then, and go through Vorka Torque. That might be where I need to go. Okay, once a point of interest is ready to be evolved, you just spend resources to unlock, correct? Missions panel, the missions panel lists your current objectives, right, over here. Fleets panel, allows you to visualize all the fleets under your command, understood. Where is that all about? Right over here, right, here we go. I need more fleets. Cooperative mode unlocked, oh, that's really cool, I didn't know that, I wish I, wish I knew that. And now I can begin a new campaign as Necrons and Tyranids, okay, well, you know where we're at now, so we got jobs to do, but uh, I do wish I had more, more to offer right now. I do not. I guess we have to watch out though, because they could just come over here and attack that location. It does not seem like a very safe location to go to, but uh, what's over here? Create a new fleet? No, we're not going to do that. I want to know what that little icon's all about. No, I'm not going to create a new fleet. I am going to take defense platforms and a minefield. And then I'm going to have you not build a new fleet, but I'm going to have you move over here. We're going to take control. Katie survivors. Okay. Survivors emerged from the ruins of Katie, looking for a way to avenge their kin. They offered their lives and everything they saved as a war effort to the Imperium. So I now get 100 resources per uh, for 10 turns, so 1,000 total. That's pretty good. All right. Let's come down here now. Okay. I don't want to move through here. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. Let's kind of... Get over to Helotas. Could uh, go over here instead, but let's go move over here real quick. I'm still wondering how I should approach these situations. I don't really know as of right now. Agri World. Okay, very cool. No points left. There's um, quite a few ships over there, which worry me immensely. So I wonder if I need like a much bigger fleet in order to handle that. I'm a little bit worried about going that far, but let's go to move my fleets. I wonder if I have like time to respond to an attack. I don't really know actually. I don't really know too much about what's happening here. Yeah, there's Demius Binary. Point of interest. Asteroid Fields too. Okay. We took one thing over here. Very nice. Oh, if I click here, there we go. So I could upgrade it actually to level two. We'll do that. I need more points. Klaassen's laborers took refuge in the mines when the Black Fleet came. Thousands died when the passageways collapsed beneath bombardment. Millions more mutated beneath the warping effects of munitions crafted using expertise stolen from Fabius Bile. By the time relief arrived in the form of a combined Adeptus Astartes fleet, the shattered tunnels were the haunt of feral creatures surrounded by terrible appetites and bereft of even basic humanity. Well, that's awful. Prayer rate per turn. Now we have Helotas. When the bow wave of the 13th Black Crusade struck, Helotas crumpled in a little under three days. Aside from a garbled astropathic message, there is no indication of the world's fate, only that a dire fate had befallen. Upon arrival, Imperial reinforcements discovered the cackling madmen roaming blazing fields and towering arcologies suffused with cruel demonic life. Lovely. Alright, so I can't really move too much. I've got two ships, but I want to move all three. What are they going to do? Oh god. They're just chilling out for now. I wonder if they're going to be like pretty chill as we go over here to fight a pretty big fight. Again, I'm not too like very keen on it, but I'm I'm gonna have to go do some stuff, I suppose. I like to kind of come back and get a new ship going, but uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and look at your ship, new ship. I don't have the points for it, unfortunately, so I've got to wait. I can get like a little line ship, but that's about it. All right, let's go ahead and get you, and you. 
and you. We've got a pretty big fight to go after, and I'm not very happy about it. So let's go ahead and do a quick save. So I think I'll, I'll just like lose and lose it all. Renown panel's over here. Very cool. I'm at 134. Okay, okay. Let's see. Reward obtained. I got that real quick. Different things that I can unlock over time for each one. Okay, rotation speed, regeneration, command and stances, fire board. Interesting. Short range. Armor piercing ammunition, and then down here, strike hangers. I think I'm gonna get that one when I can, when I'm able to anyway. All right, let's go ahead and go back real quick and begin a new fight. Oh man, Iron Warriors, okay. 380 out of 400, that's really rough. I'm at 519, they're at 590. Ooh. Let's see if I can outplay them. If not, we're dead. We're dead and done for. <laughs> okay, I've got two tinier ships. We're going to have them scout out ahead. They're going to be in group two. We're going to have them, let's see, run silent for now. As for the three of you, you're going to be in group one. What are we going to have you do real quick? Lock on, running silence. We're going to have you probably reload for a little bit or actually brace for impact. Yeah. Let's go. We wait your command. Course engaged. All right. We're going to head over here real quick. No auto casting like before, understood. I've got a lot of technical skills that I'm going to utilize in this uh, situation. Augur Disruptor Bomb. Ooh. Detection range is removed for 45 seconds, very good. Stasis Bomb, Augur Probe. So we're definitely going to try to Augur Probe way out here. It looks like they're heading towards this location, so let's go do that real quick. Micro Warp Jump, Plasma Bomb, as we saw before. We've got, um, let's see, High Energy Turns. Engagement distance doesn't really matter too much. Cease fire, not going to happen right now. Here's my three ships, and we are moving together. Your orders. Okay. Heading acknowledged. They're heading out to go take another point. Show us the enemy. What are we looking at over here? Mm -mm, don't like it. Don't like it at all. We serve. Identified, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, those are a lot of things coming my way. Ooh. Do not like that. That's a lot of enemy ships. Okay. Setting course. Enemy sighted. Let's go after him real quick. We're going to launch all these torpedoes at them for sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Hold on, right about now. Everyone fires torpedoes, and we just begin our attack. Got a few ships going back to their end of the things. Let's see if we can get anything out there to really mess them up. Plasma bomb. I'm going to go into slow motion eventually because it's going to be a pretty rough fight, I think, for me. We stand ready. Oh, they're moving. Shoot. Okay. That's not what I wanted. All right. Let's move back a little bit with these two guys. We just need to watch out, I think. I begin that scanning way too soon. That's okay, too. Come over here real quick. We're going to start attacking. All right. Void Inquisitor. Let's get you to watch out, man. Go get him real quick. Just go get him. We're going to repair. We're going to have some defensive ships out there. Let's go now. Oh, it's going to be an awful one. I can already feel it, man. It's going to be a really awful one. Okay, you two, come over here. We're going to change you over to lock on. Let's go now. Let's go hit him. Okay. Let's see what we can do real quick. Let me go look at my torpedoes. So we're going to try to focus on which one's going to be the tougher one. I could focus on an engine, then try to isolate 
at least the two of them. I think that would be a pretty Shoot, decent idea if we did that. All right, stasis bomb. So we're going to try to stop you real quick. Let's try to get a bomb over here. Let's go ahead and um, plasma bomb. Maybe like right over here. And then after that, we could do a micro jump. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm kind of thinking about it. I could try to jump behind him if I move out my other ship. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's see, torpedoes. We're going to want to move oh, ahead of engines. them. Let's try to do that real quick. And then for my own torpedoes. Course engaged. Let's go ahead and stop. Brace for impact. Okay, that's what you're doing. Very good. We want to get an auger disruptor bomb right now. And let's get your void shield supercharged up because you need it. You desperately need it right now. So go do that. We're still waiting to kind of flank this one ship, I think, pretty soon. All right, go ahead and hit real quick. Go ahead and repair what you need to. Rally up just to kind of make sure there's no rebellions happening. We don't need that in my life. No one's life. All right, so look at the, these two things that are going on right now. We're kind of getting through, I think. I'm going to try to really mess them up if I can. All right, a fire board. That's even better than I thought. Okay. Go get them. Go board. We serve. Okay, so you're going to come over here. You're coming over here. We're going to have you just do a high energy turn real quick. Well, not really. We're just going to have you kind of turn over here. We're going to have these two smaller ships move up now. They're going to do a all ahead full. So you can see where he's kind of stuck right now. He's going to be in a much tougher position. Let's go ahead and move up now. Oh, yeah. We're beating the hell out of him. That's really nice. All right, so back into a slow speed. So let's go see what we can do now. Running silent. No, we're going to keep you where you're at right now. We're going to keep on going. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and do another boarding action right over here. We're going to do another boarding action right over here in just a minute. Hold on. Unless I just kind of move behind you. That'd be pretty good. All right, let's go. And then let's see. We're going to use over here a Thunderhawk squadron. Let's go hit them right now. Burn retro is right now. Augur probe just to kind of have that out there for the hell of it. My deck has been kind of beat up. It looks like that's okay. These two smaller ships are going to keep on engaging. We're going to have them come over here to go after this ship and harry it further. I do want you to kind of turn around real quick. So go ahead and do a nice 180 or whatever. And after that, let's go get on them. We are ready to serve. Energize vector thrust. We've already done some critical damage to one ship, so that's really good. I'm really happy about that. Let's see. Let's see. What else are we looking at right now? Some pretty bad enemies. Turn right now. Turn right now. You got it. You got it. Okay. Let me get a look at what other abilities I have real quick. I want you to turn eventually, but we need you to kind of do it all ahead full real quick. All right. Turn, turn, turn. Go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do an auger disruptor bomb again. Super void charger shields. Keep you going. All right, go ahead and do your high energy turn right now and we'll keep on moving. We got to keep on moving. So we're going to keep on doing that. We're going to head over here real quick. I think these two ships are going to annoy the hell out of this one enemy of ours. So let's keep on doing that. Get the scanners going. Identify them all. They've been marked now. That's a good thing for me. It's going to honor the chapter. Oh, what the hell? Did you just bring in more friends? Are you kidding me? I think they did. Oh, no. That makes my life much more challenging for sure. Okay, so we're gonna have to try to really win this one now. Show us the enemy. Go ahead and get them. Let's see. Go assault them real quick. We want to try to get this guy. We really want to get this guy. Let's go ahead and use our stasis bomb over here right now, as we turn and move. You two again are just going after one enemy. Who has critical damage? He does. Cool. That's what we wanted. We wanted to have some critical damage going on him. So let's go ahead and do some reloading and hit them further. So you can see that we're beating the shit out of this flame of heresy. I didn't realize they, they would really have that many, but yeah, they have so many for me to deal with. Those are like two smaller ships, thankfully, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Let's go ahead and keep on going after this one enemy real quick. Race for impact. No, we don't need to do that. Not yet. Honor the chapter. Here we go. Deck damage. We already got their deck. Let's go ahead and get their guns out of here. Wait here. I want you to t do a high energy turn as well. I hate having to use slow motion, but it's gonna it's gonna take me a bit to really get to the skill level to where I can feel confident to take on whoever. But uh, that's okay though. Let's go to keep on moving. I want my shields back up, but that'll take a bit too. Plasma bomb right here. Enjoy, you idiots. 
right, come over here, boys. All right, I do need you to brace for impact now. I know that's going to be a tough one. Yeah, I'm seeing that now. I'm not happy about it. Trust me, I'm not. All right. Get you to do it all ahead full. Let's go now. Augur Disruptor again. Supercharge your Void Shield. We want to keep on hitting these guys. Let's keep on doing it right now. You'll be target number one. Just go hit them from behind. That's a great salvo. It's another critical hit. Let's go ahead and stop here and do a high energy turn just to make sure that we're still hitting them very, very hard. We want to turn real quick. If you look at that, that one bomb took out these two ships nearly completely. So, so it didn't really do too much to me, but it did a lot to them. Let's go ahead and rally people up. Okay. Cancel all of those damage impacts. Let's go ahead and lock on again. We're going to go ahead and wait a minute. We nearly have this one ship though. We nearly have it. It looks like my light cruiser Vanguard is beating the shit out of him. Okay. Changing course. Had no idea they had this many ships. That's insane to me. But if you look at it though, looks like we are somehow managing something. Go get him. Go get him right now. Good work again. Looks like they're losing troops. They're having a really rough time. I've got two little ships down here that I want to take out, but that's going to take a bit. Let's go ahead and turn real quick. I'm going to go ahead and try to turn real quick. I'm going to, let's see, lock on because we want to have a higher critical chance. I just want to start beating them. So let's start doing that right now. Critical hit, 30 damage. We want to turn. We're going to have you turn two. You're going to be target number one. You're going to be target number three. You're going to be target number, let's see, what else have we got? Another smaller enemy over here, but let's go after these guys real quick. Alright. Okay, so you have your stuff going. Very cool. We destroyed their weapons now. Man, dude, we are destroying this one ship. That's amazing. I had no idea that we would be able to do it so easily. Ish. <laughs> easily ish. That's what I call it now. It hasn't been that easy. Alright. Plasma bomb. So we're going to probably throw that at someone in a minute. I want to wait till we get the other stasis bomb. Which will be in 20 seconds, so yours will be in, let's see, well, it's available now, but that can wait still. My little line ships are doing a pretty good job at, like, harassing enemies, so that's very nice. Let's go over here. You're actually going to be number two. Fuck you. I'm going to try to take out your guns if I can. Is that my other little ship that just got messed up? Hold on. No, that should be theirs. Right, good, good, good. I got a little bit concerned for a minute. All right. Provide some replacement troops. Very nice. That's what we needed. Let's go look over here. Stasis bomb. We're still going to use that on who? We're going to go use it on this guy over here. Try to mess him up. Right now. Supercharge void shield. We're going to keep that going. We got a plasma bomb that we're going to put like right here. That's going to mess up some enemies too. So I want you to go after, let's see here, hold on. Honor the chapter, emergency repairs, let's do that real quick. We're gonna brace for impact, try to stomach some hits real quick. Okay. They lost some more stuff. We gotta kill some more off, but uh, let's do that now. Come right over here, buddies. Come right over here. We shall rally later. We got something. One is beginning the mutiny. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Very nice. Here's going to be number one now. Let's go ahead and fuck him up. Screw that guy. That's why. Let's come on down here. Oh, I love whenever they begin the mutiny. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lock on. Let's get some nice shots out. Let's mess up these guys real quick. Go, Thunderhawks. Go. High energy turn again. High energy turn again. Oh man, that was a good hit on their shields. Rally up, boys. Rally up. Charge void shield. Come over here now. I need you to go turn over here real quick. Let's get you to turn over here. We're going to have you launch some torpedoes their way. Time to do a warp jump. Got him. Now we're right behind him. Now we're going to use a boarding action. And we're going to brace for impact, just for some nice survival. Okay, that's fine. 
I might be able to take out the final one, hopefully. We're going to see in a minute. Let's go ahead over here now. Where's he at? Or did, is that the last ship? That might be the last ship if the last guy left. I don't really know, actually. If so, we just tactically outplayed a very large enemy fleet, and they're gone too. Okay. If not, we'll just start to take them now. Let's get you to head over here, little ship. Other ship. We're going to get you... Oh, no, no, no. Here he is. Uh, your little ships will go out and start taking points, though. I think that's going to be their job, so... You're heading over here now to go after this one. My main line ships are going to head out now. Alright, let's go after your stuff now. We're going to go handle your uh, generators. We don't want you to have shields. I don't want you to have shields, because, uh, you know, fuck you. Alright, you don't need to really... Let's go ahead and get some more range going. What else are we going to use? Recharge your void shield just in case emergency repairs, because that's important. Let's head over here real quick. Turn. We want you to do a high energy turn as well. Let's just get you to turn too. Turn again. Torpedoes are going. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. That would have been a great hit if I actually did hit, right? Okay, got some replenishment going on. That I have. Let's hurry up, boys. Let's reload. We want to hit him faster. Repositioning. Rotational drift. Light critical damage. Gotcha. Engine destroyed. I cha cha. That's a tough one. Send out the ships again. Setting course. No, you know what? Let's let's go real quick. Let's just go. We want to hurry up, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and stop. And guess what? We get to hit the hell out of them now. Try to get out of here, buddy. Try to get out of here. You're not. It's not happening. And we destroyed them all. Whew. That was a very uh, intense fight. <sighs> Sweating a little bit. <laughs> if that's a sign of things to come, we're going to have a pretty interesting campaign. I'm actually curious to see how the Necrons and the Tyranids would play. I wonder how tough they are. I have no idea. I've never played them in like the first game if they were in the first game. So I stopped playing after the Eldar in the first game, but uh, yeah, we did it. That's a lot of for now. We gained a lot. Okay. We wiped out an entire fleet. We now have the Vork and Twerk system. I'll need like a turn or something to chill out, but uh, that was pretty good. We've now reduced our threat. We've increased our own bravery. Okay, everyone, if you have any tips or advice for me, let me know what you think I should be doing and how I should be doing it better. Leave a like down below, and if you'd like to see more tomorrow, let me know, and until then.